Whoa, well, dude, f- five's my favorite number. Five's not your favorite number, is it? No, it's four, I'm sorry. I love, uh, yeah. you've watched everything. That's oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, the, uh, give me something. Cause we're gonna be I told you this was the last Monday morning of your life. Just gave a talk to a school this morning, eighth graders, a lot of fun. Now on the way to record and film The Breakfast Club, which was a real amazing moment of 2016. Uh, brought some awareness to my work to um, a lot of different people, which I enjoyed. I've become uh, very fond of all the characters over there, and so I'm gonna come back and answer some questions. Looking forward to that, and just a day of a lot of different meetings. Should be an interesting day. I'm feeling good. Um, it's been a, it's been a, you know, I actually love to get like six hours of sleep. Sometimes even like a sneak in a seven. Um, obviously, I have a lot of fours and fives. This has been a consistent four and five weeks, so. Last two days feel a little like run down in the morning, but you know, very quickly it changes. <laughs> the energy can go from zero to 100 real quick. Hey, 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 good morning, D Rockin' House. Things are good, hope everybody's super well. Um, thank you so much, Nadal. How's everybody doing with their eBay challenge? $20,000, 20170 yeah, baby shit. Sell that baby shit. Baby shit sells. Good stuff. Um, it does. Like, that's one of my favorite things. Like, people own all these baby clothes and all these baby items. They got no babies no more. Some of you have babies. Just sitting in the attic. Yeah. Then I do a garage sale. Sell it for a dollar for 90 things that could have sold for 1,100 bucks. Ooh, GaryVShop.com. These mm-hmm. t-shirts, it's ready. The t-shirts are. Mm-hmm. Cool. You think they're gonna be pumped with yeah, t-shirts? Cool. You gonna buy a t-shirt? Yeah, I'll buy a t-shirt. How about four? I think you should buy four. Okay, I'll buy four and then give three away. Oh, you're gonna, what? Yep, I'll buy four and give three away. D-Rock, I am very proud of you. I think you should buy six. <laughs> Avi, I'm a salesman, man, don't laugh. Don't laugh, you know, you like, the, you like this, right? This is a clinic. This is how you do it. Keep going until they say no. Keep going until they say no. Don't say no for the other guy. Keep going until they say no, not you. You want to be good at sales? Keep selling until they say no. Would you like some, I'd like some wine. Would you like a case? Yeah. Great, okay, here you go. Maybe you need another case. Okay. Maybe you should buy a case and put it away for your kid one day. Okay. Maybe you should, stop. Okay, good, three cases. <laughs> Better than one. Uh, oh. Let's see, let's see. Always communicate, it's the culture. It's the people, it's never, ever, 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 ever anything other than that. It's it's about people. When you go from one to five locations, it's about people. That's the fucking game. Don't get it confused. That's 100% the game. Red Bark, good to see you. What's up, Sherman? Good to see you. 20,000 in profit, Southern. You don't pay bills with the sales, you pay with the profit. Profit, 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 profit. 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 Uh, I'll keep the content coming. Love you guys. Love you, Sam Ben Ruby. Um, Please, please, please. Oh, Richie. Richie South. Uh, Please, please, please keep it coming. Keep building your shit. Sell shit. Do shit. Do it, do it, do it. Uh, and, uh, And I'm wishing you guys huge love. All right, I gotta go in. Film Breakfast Club. Looking forward to it. Uh, D-Rock is filming, so we'll catch it. I'll see you guys later. Russian hustle for life. That's how I knew. That's how you know it's here. Uh, it's your live stream. <laughs> <laughs> how are you? Good, bro, man. You just the man, man. Thank you, man. Just move like the man. Just try, man. How are you? Oh, I run a business. You do? Just I, uh, I, business? an agency, a, a social media agency. So we help 
you know, Under Armour, Toyota, do all the Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat shit. You like that, man? I do that's, music. You know, I do that's what, I do that's, a bunch of things, man. Nice to meet you, man. Good luck to you, man. Keep hustling. Bless, man. Always bless. All right, bless. man. Stay well. Love you. Moral of that story is you could be picking up 5,000 people a day on Instagram, but if you don't take the time and say hello and put just one person on, that's only going to last for so long. What up, my man? What's up, man? How you doing? How you doing, my man? Good to see you. Oh, Mehmet. Mehmet's my man. What's up, man? What's up, everybody? It's Gary Vee. Wake up every morning with Breakfast Club only on Revolt. Thank you. You got it. Thank you. What's up, man? Yo, thanks. Man, Gary. It's a pleasure. Real pleasure, man. Wake that ass up. Just, that's it? Yeah. Wake that ass up. <laughs> that was the best part. Cool, man. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Yeah. How are you? I like treating you. Really good. Doing well. Great to see. You know AJ's what? AJ's well. AJ's feeling really well. Thank What's you. What's up, my brother? What's up, my man? Great to How's see everything? you. I saw you at CS. Uh, you were sitting with some guys. Oh, yeah. I was with Dan Gilbert, yeah. sitting right behind you. I was calling your name. Then I got pulled. Then I looked, then I didn't see you, then I had to go, and I was like, fuck, oh, where did Mamma go? It's all right. It's great to see you. That was a great meeting. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of big. I never go on anything. I went, to, I went there with uh, Tom Hanks and uh, Howard Stringer, when he was head of, yes. uh, of Tony. Yes. Uh, and, you know, this is probably 10 years. It was before the show launched. It was, it was when it was really an electronic show. Now it's just a business. Cool. See you, man. Bye, man. Bye, success. Bye, Dr. Ross, can I uh, grab you for a second? Sure. We're just going to do a quick uh, promo yeah. tune-in video. Said that, uh, said that you're gonna be on your <laughs> I'm up. You up. Envy, what's up? Man? I love the kicks, good man. Good to see you. Good to see you. Life is good? How's your little man? Good. Life is good? Got five, they're all good. <laughs> How far are you buying the Jets? I think I'm very far and very close, so let me explain. Okay. Uh, I've, I love patience. I got a lot of things in place on third base that I haven't cashed in on. There's a lot of things I can do if tomorrow it has to happen. Call in, brr, 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 call in all those favors, cash in all those chips, sell all the, my, you know, my, my company just did a huge transaction it's, it, that valued the company at a $400 million valuation that puts my net worth at 200 million of what I own of that. I've got all this paper money on Facebook. I can cash it all in, it's on the stock market. I've got private money in Uber and other things that I can convert to somebody else. I've got pieces, but Woody's not selling. And the truth is, I don't have the 2.7 billion I'm nowhere close to that. Mm-hmm. Now, and I don't want to go round up a lot of people to be a partner. I want to run shit. Ah. I need to win a Super Bowl. So the good news is, he's still young. He's, you know, I, I wish him health every single day. Mm-hmm. I need about another, I, I would love to have another 15 to 20 years to make the play. But the truth is, I mean, the journey to try to buy them, that's the game. That's the game. That's the you know, la- last night, way. last that's night, game, last right? night, Richie South and, 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 and Boyd, we I go to the it. studio. Right? You know what I love? You know why I love hip hop the most? Because mm. people, wor- people that are really in it, they work. Mm-hmm. Like I'm in corporate America. I'm in Silicon Valley. Actually, that's why I fell in love with Silicon Valley. Those nerds, they worked like my hip hop friends did. Mm-hmm. I'm like, wait a minute, these kids are coding at two in the morning, mm. right? Like going in the studio last night in Midtown at 12 and watching everybody work. Dave East work, he's working. They're working. Oh, you were there with Young Berg and everybody? I was with Berg last night. You know, you know. Oh, he was, he was on the show with you, right? Yeah. 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 Like, like, and you know why? It's funny. It, it motivates me. <laughs> because in corporate America, when I go sit with CMOs and CEOs of to- Fortune 500 companies, they don't work like this. They're done at six. My guy Gary V, always a pleasure, man. Love you, man. Yes, sir. Love you too, brother. Yes, sir. That's great. Real pleasure. Pleasure. Thank pleasure. Thank you very much. My man. Thank you, Thank you my man. How about you? I'm about to use the click, the link in bio right now. <laughs> <laughs> One half of them I'm about to sell and then the other two I'm keeping because you know. I'm really looking at all of them. We're talking about thousands of people whose life is better now. Absolutely. Like like, ha- like crazy shit. That's a good way to set up the voicemail. We can have people call and leave like questions. Yeah. Oh, oh that's a cool. I love that. I do like the voice. Quick. Yeah, we just do whatever. We can just do Ask Gary Done. Done. All right, my man. Brother. Yes, Stay well, talk to you. All right. Yeah, Bye, darling. Thank you. Talk to you soon, man. Bye, guys. I'm happy and I feel guilty about my happiness almost so much so that I just want to give it to everybody else. Yeah, yeah. See you tonight.
Listening to my old songs back when I would talk about Things that hadn't happened yet but now I get to talk about Just got back from South Beach, Collins Ave Shore Club Always celebrating what I wanna see more of Took my mom with me, let her soak up all the sunshine Let her watch her rain stop all because of sunshine That's what I call foresight, that's what I call manifesting and, and let that be a lesson for the next 50 years that we jam together, that if you ever want context, it mm-hmm. doesn't seem like it was bothering you, but yeah. anytime, like this is my new thing, it's the first time you hear me say it, uh, I'm going with a new tactic in these first time meetings, anytime something happens mm-hmm. that you don't understand or like and you want to know, mm-hmm. I'm super cozy to tell you. Mm-hmm. I've got this big dream of the town hall meeting, okay. but I realize that that's only gonna bring me so much so yeah. now my new move is to let them know from the first moment they sit with yeah. me, like, call my bluff. Uh-huh. And again, yeah. what, whatever you deem as important and not important. Yeah, I'm I sure mean, that's not the crazy. Like I'm sure that's not the craziest thing that's ever happened. Yeah, but, no, no, uh, no, yeah, but, mean, but everybody's different. Mm-hmm. I mean, like it's insane what people think is. Think real sweet. pleasure. Hey, Hit me up if you. I can be a help. Awesome. All right, Nick. Thank Say you. well, man. Hey, dude. Like <laughs> Thank you, man. Just going on Instagram live for a second, but I'll shut it down. How are you? Jump in. Okay, well then, I mean, listen, they're gonna shit their pants if you jump in. So let me get this straight. You're per- are we on live right now? We're live. Hi, I'm giving myself a tour of Gary's new office. <laughs> let me get this straight. So there's not, they're not the building there, uh-uh. and they're not gonna be dead. I mean, you might want to get something to clean your windows. You got a rope? I can go out there myself. I'll do it right now. Well, that's how you make your content. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you just drone up here? Like go up here and just clean it. I mean, there it is. The next piece of content figured out. Serious. First and foremost, congrats, brother. Yeah. So happy. Thank you. Such a big deal. I've never said this. The day after I stopped doing Wine Library TV, I did it five and a half years. I did it five days a week. I mean, in five years, I did 1,089 episodes and I didn't do weekends. So like when you start compounding that math, it was like the world came off my shoulders. And it was my favorite thing, but when it was over and I knew it was over, I did something weird. I actually did something a lot of people don't know. I did Wine Library TV to episode 1000 and then I started something called Daily Grape, which was a shorter mobile version I, because I knew I was done at 1000, but I wasn't ready to let go. It was this weird thing. So I'm like, well, if I'm gonna do it, let me learn something new and I think these mobile devices are gonna take over. So I did that, but I only did it for 89 episodes. It never had a chance and I ended it. Too early. Yeah. Your time. It, no, it was killing. Well, and I was making money because I actually, for the first time, actually was selling wine reviews like Wine Spectator. It would have been a huge business. I was just done doing daily content that way. You know what's an interesting vertical for me? <clears throat> Don't put this in the video. It's not a by accident that good things happen to us. It's this zone. Absolutely, it's just that traditional media has existed for so long and it's so slow to change, it's so big. It's not their fault, it's, not it's too fault. big. They can't pivot, they can't. Which is why this move by them getting you involved is so right. Instagram is so important. You see their daily numbers for stories? 150 million yeah, yeah, daily it's, active users and stories. So That product is what, a few months old? Yeah, I mean they have the attention, they funneled people in that way. What you do, again, the people that win, you do not disrespect that attention. You, you'll do nothing than disrespect that attention. So once you figure out, once you figure out exactly, you'll deploy it against that attention with value to that attention and it will be a hit from the gate. That's exactly what's gonna happen. That's, and that's, that's, why it, that's why they stole it. In a world where everybody's like, oh, that was like, but people don't understand magic. People don't understand. Guess I'm finally blowing up. Oh, what the feeling? Ten years making beats. Patience tastes bitter, but the aftertaste is so sweet. Could have stopped at any time. Wouldn't have believed this. People like your view of the Empire State Building out of the window. This is the view of the Empire State Building from my bed. Oh, yeah. Okay. So there's the Empire State. Yeah. This is my bed. Yeah. It's because I need to eat, this is it. eat and sleep in your studio when I wake up. You can't, can't show it on your camera. camera. Solid meeting. Thanks for having me by, Gary. <laughs> uh, you gotta come down. Anytime. You gotta come down too, see the shop. Cool. Ah, I fucking love it, man. Uh, just maybe you should wa- watch the video I posted today, because it's about exactly what you just said. Cool. It's about this idea of... Are you gonna, are you gonna watch it? Yes. Yes. I would never yes. hold you to it. I would never hold gonna you to it. Gonna watch my first Casey video. <laughs> I would never hold you to it. It's, it's, it's like eight minutes. I don't. T Rock. T Rock. T Rock. T Rock. Have you ever watched a Casey video? 
<laughs> but but the one today is about sort of this thing that, that Felix uh, PewDiePie right. talked about last week, which is like Whoa, dude, f- five is my favorite number. Five's not your favorite number, is it? No, it's four. I'm sorry. I love. Uh, 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 you've watched uh, everything. That's uh, like uh, I'm the. Uh, 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 give me something. We'll talk soon. Come by anytime. I'll see you on the internet. Standard mm-hmm. um, days. I don't know. You know, this happened to you guys, but one of the kind of objections that we get all the time is, you know, we have people who do this, or our kids do this, or, you know, we've got people internally who do this, and it's, you know. I tell them that there's a big difference between the way I play basketball and the way LeBron James plays basketball. Uh-huh. There's no accident that Ella's the best you've got. Right. You just tell them right to their fucking face yeah. that we're better at it. Yeah. Yeah. And if they say, well, we don't value the difference between our B player and your A player, then you say Mazel Tov and you go into the next building. Yeah. Don't dwell on that conversation. Tell them right to the face what you believe and move on. Cool. Yeah. I mean, it's that basic. Yeah. What are you gonna try to convince the unsellable? Right. I don't give a fuck what your excuse is. It's the excuse and I'm leaving. You need to really nail that one in your brain. Uh-huh. It will be the best thing that happens to your business. Awesome. Sitting in your bed crying about the girl that didn't want to go out with you for a year is not gonna let you find the next girl. Yeah, agreed. Next. Agreed. Um, so when you're an entrepreneur, you have a wavering eye. Yeah, totally. You're unfaithful. That skirt looks cute. Right. I yeah. get it. I, I've never, you know, it's it's it, when it comes to entrepreneurship, I'm playing the field hard. Mm-hmm. I'm super in love with mm-hmm. Vayner, but I'm like, who's that? Right. And that happens to me every day. I'm a scum bucket uh, when it comes to entrepreneurship. And uh, uh, I would tell you that you can go and have a little more fun once you've got a little bit of an established situation. So I would say that be very careful of not doing it too early and realize, you know, there was something I said the other day, like eat shit for 24 months and then eat caviar the rest of your life. It's not that exact, but that's how I think about it here. Build something that gives you the, you know, build something and then when it's got enough strength, go and do it. The reason there was a big gap in me putting out content was I needed 2011, 12, and 13 to build Vayner. Mm -hmm. It allowed me then to get back into content, do the pure wow deal, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, that was very kind. I really so do happy, appreciate it. Thank so you. So happy it worked out for you, man. Thank you. That gratitude, yeah. brother, drive with that. Do not let any, like, when I gave you that first answer to that question yeah. now, that should be a foregone conclusion for yeah. you. Comparatively, do never, you know, this is what happens with life-threatening events, you forget. It's, 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 like, it's, like getting, it's like when the cop car goes, and then when it drives back by you, you get, and then yeah. you start driving fast again. People don't realize this, you do, I understand it, thank God I've never had it. Right. People forget, right. do not forget. Lose, it's just a video lose, game for me now. Lose, but, but, but you know what, don't say it, live it. Right. Losing that client, somebody saying no, means nothing. Right. Thanks, right. Bye guys. Bye bye. Um, I just want to make sure. Let me sleep on it. Okay. Get me some context. Okay. I mean we're spending money, but yeah. then it's like, you still have to maintain the account and so on and so forth. Hi. Hi. I'm Kelly. Kelly. Nice to meet you. How are you? Hi, Dana. Dana, Dana. how are you? you? This is so weird. It's like <laughs> the building my dad's liquor store. It should have been a $200 million business. I wasn't smart enough to go all in on Google AdWords. I kind of went all in on AdWords. It's insane to me. Like I don't even want to actually put my brain on the table for you guys to see on how I think about Pure Wow and Instagram because it would make you nervous because you would then be concerned that I'm so disrespectful to everything else. So with that opening statement, that's how I feel about things. That's why I think I win. So to me, that could go away tomorrow. The reason I've been successful with clients, with my investments, with things that are not 100% my call, we're super successful because we look at each other and we just do it. Everything else is hard, Vayner's hard. This is easy, we just do it. I just do it and when they have an idea, I'm like do it and just do it and we do it and it's just doing it. Vayner's hard. We have to do, like, so I, I, it's, I do it, but I have to do a couple of things beforehand. And, and this will be one even step more than that. And that's okay. But this is what I'm about, you know? And it's gonna work in a real way. Cool. Love you guys. Thank you. See ya. Value. See where the opportunities are. Exactly, exactly. That's the right mood. Help first and then yep. figure out cool. the rest. Cool, I'm excited. So, you bet. How are you doing? <laughs> I see you like every day on TV or on YouTube. So I'm like, I have a crazy proposition for you. Okay. I.
this office Howard is, is amazing. This is so, this yeah. This is so, this is just, I forgot, it just like, like makes my heart swell to see this. It's so great. Here's my feelings as a father and as a man in the world and someone who's tried to focus a lot of my life on impacting as many people as I could, as far and as wide as I could in a positive way. And suddenly I brought They the got real and small. All I cared about was just being in the room with them. And yeah, it got real small. Of, do you try and live as big as possible or as small as possible? And where do you find the balance? And, the, and you know what the best part is? The answer's always both. Yeah. And, and then, Clouds that, and dirt, baby. Yeah. And that's what Clouds it was. And it dirt. was like, well, for a moment I felt like I just, I don't care about anything. I just want to be in this room with them. Well, and well, then I realized, well, they're going to grow up into this world. Well, that, and you I know, set the example. Parents and marketers and business people, they cripple themselves. They cripple themselves in not realizing you can be 100% on something even for a year. Yeah. Everybody thinks in the micro. Yeah. Like if I want to be super selfish mm-hmm. for two years, it's two of the hundred years I'm gonna live. Right, right. Like people yeah. don't quantify that. Mm-hmm. I'll go in the dirt for, like for VaynerMedia. I was in the clouds mm-hmm. for the last six months. I'm getting in the dirt, like, you know. Yeah. People, people judge themselves too much. Mm-hmm. It's okay to go on a business trip right. for three weeks. It's three weeks. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's, that's been the new thing. It's okay that, you know, especially, I mean, look, this is so much of the advice I gave you on the board, right? Like, yeah. Well, let me give you the Mission You update. And, yeah, I want that. Um, and I want a lot of your thoughts. And Let's do it. Let's so, do it. Yeah, yeah. Listening to my old songs back when I would talk about Things that hadn't happened yet but now I get to talk about Just got back from South Beach, Collins Ave Shore Club Always celebrating what I wanna see more of Took my mom with me, let her soak up all the sunshine Let her watch her rain stop all because of sunshine I don't even read the business plan if somebody puts it in front of me Somebody else would never even consider giving you money Without that Correct Right Reverse engineer the person Cool, customize it to that, yeah I mean, that, this is why you get conflicting opinions. Yep. That's why everybody gets conflicting opinions. Because there's more than one way to do it. Yeah. But you need to know who you're doing it with. You come in here and give me a business plan and you actually knew a little bit about my spiel, I'm out. Like, it, like if you didn't know me. Is that just like your personal sort of approach? Yes. So? Yeah. yeah, because it's just how I bet. Got it, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. But like, you go to a Goldman Sachs kid who like has public information that she only believes in data and you walk yeah. in there and try to do the Gary Vee thing, you're fucked. Yeah, I think just personally that's where I've just like been hitting sort of myself with like what, what do I really believe in most in terms of how I want to sell Well, the answer is both, yeah. always. It depends on is it 50, 50, 80, 20, 100, zero, right? Yeah, I'm getting that balance, I hear you. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, the other thing is just do it. Yeah. Like, it's a hell of a lot better for you to go 0 for 7 pitching your business than sitting in your head on your couch. Yeah. I'm hopeful, it feels a lot better today. You go from buying cheeseburgers, I'm about to buy you a nice dinner, like it's good. And then it goes down, the economy gets fucking terrible. You gotta start over, there's like so much shit. You just gotta keep fighting, especially if you love it. That's the other thing about music and technology, if you love it, then that's a whole different thing. Then you, I can eat cheeseburgers, I'll be straight up, I can eat cheeseburgers every day. I don't need I don't need anything fancy. I need to play my game. That's what I'm that's what drives me. That's why I'm the best, because I'm gonna win because I played for the game. I don't need shit. I don't need shit. And I don't hate on people that want stuff. Everybody knows what they want. I want the game. I don't even want the money. I really don't. You know this. You know this better than anybody. You know you know my you know, you do. You know how I play. I want the fucking action. That's exactly why I said. I feel you. You connect with me. You know, this is exact advice I gave to Saba yesterday. Get into culture outside of your own fucking world. Yeah, and that's not my world. But that's world. No. He's a gamer. Like, look, like you guys should fuck it. You should go get fucking a country singer to sing a hook on some of your shit. That's some pretty blonde girl that has 800,000 Instagram followers and does country. Like, I don't know what kind of musician you're. I don't want. 
That's the one thing I always don't is oh, touch all, the art. That that's what people do. That's I'm, but I'm always giving them. If you're into it or if you're that kind of artist, you do it. Your shit will pop. See, but yeah, man. I remember the first time I got offered to speak for real. This is a good story. Dude calls. He goes, "We want you to give the keynote at the internet marketing conference. How much do you charge?" I, I was about to say cool. I was about to say bet. Okay, like like he, you know, he he, he was talking slow. He didn't get to say how much you charge. I was almost gonna be like, sure, I'll come, just pay my trip, right? He goes, how much you charge? I'm like, oh, okay. I was like, all right, what's, so I'm a, I'm a businessman. So I'm like, okay, I have no idea what people get paid to speak, but I'm gonna throw out the craziest fucking number ever because I could always come down. So I'm like, $5,000. He goes, okay, great, we'll send you the paperwork. I'm like, holy <laughs> shit. He said yes, fast as fuck. So I was like, fuck, he's talking, I'm, I'm blacked out. I'm happy and I'm like, how do I get, I gotta get more. And, I, and so he, he goes, I, I heard everything he said. I go, okay, 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 let me recap. Pay trip, March 9th, Florida, it's actually Florida, uh, $5,000 for a 30 minute talk. He goes, no, 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 I said an hour. I said, oh. I said, $10,000. He goes, okay, great. I'm like, fuck. I keep the you know I like I need some more.